Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is another episode of the Standard Commentary series. So, turn 2, Beast Caller Savant, attacks. Turn 3, Morph. And Anafenza. Flips Rattleclaw Mystic. Three mana, five if he wants it. And Woodland Wanderer for four. Six six Vigilance Trample. And Obzon Charm to get rid of it. And Offensa goes in for four. No block. And two mana, four. Nothing. Kiora, Master of the Depths. Mm. Untaps the land and the rattle claw. Four mana if they want it. Wanderer for four. That is one thing about it. You know, it's a really easy way of getting a 6-6 six, six Vigilance Trample. Problem is, is that facing an Obzon deck, they have a lot of ways of getting rid of it. Because it has no protection against things like Obzon Charm, or Murderous Cut, or Ruinous Path, or Utter End. It's just, there are so many options available to a green, white, and black deck to kill creatures. But he played a hanger backwalker for two. Crater's Claws to get rid of Anafenza. If his plan was to double block, uh, that plan just went out the window. No reason to block here. Takes the six. Let's see. One, two, three. He could have five men if they want with Kiora's plus one ability. Five mana for a creature spell, four for anything else.
Thunderbreak region. Delving for murderous cut to kill the woodland wanderer. Which does save him some of his life total. But now he's got a 4-4 four, four flyer for a problem in a, instead of a 6-6. Six, six. And that flyer is going to hurt to get rid of. Swings in with the dragon. Puts him down to nine. He's got three cards in hand. Maybe another Thunderbreak region? Okay, untap. A second Thunderbreak region would pretty much be the game. Unless he has something like a Languish. And Crater's Claws to the face. Should be, what, eight? We'll leave him at one. And he'll have one opportunity to live through this. Dramoka's command, hanger back walker to the beast caller savant, and prevents the crater's claws. That is one of the rare times that I've actually seen that mode of Dramoka's command get used, but it was very well timed. Swings in with the hanger back walker to knock down Cure to five. And Wingmate Rock. So, now he has some blockers for the Thunder Break. And a double block will get rid of the Thunder Break. So that he won't have to take a lightning bolt to the face to do it. Savage Knuckle Blade. She can haste. But at the same time, it would be more advisable to take care of the Thunder Break, even if he does go for the Savage Knuckle Blade. But if he wanted to hold back a little bit, oh, he's going for the Reveal. Reveals three land and Stubborn Denial. What does she say? Creature and or land, so... Kind of whiffed. I don't really think that he wanted a land. But, on the bright side, he did reveal a fetch land, so he effectively removed two lands from his deck using Kiora's ability. But 
But now what does he want to do? Does he want to go completely aggro? It wouldn't be that bad of an idea. And Air of the Wilds. He is at 9. Hmm. He didn't activate the Knuckle Blade. So if he's going to attack, it's just going to be the dragon. So he decides not to attack. So either he miscalculated the amount of time that he had to be able to activate the Knuckle Blade, or he just forgot. Either way, he chooses not to throw the Thunder Break into his immediate death. It will make for a much stronger play n on the next attack phase, provided this Obzon deck doesn't play anything too drastic. What he could really use right now, okay, ru Ruinous Path on the Dragon. I wasn't expecting him to go with that. Okay, he takes him down to six, but he does get rid of the Thunder Break. What I was going to say before he played Ruinous Path was... Uh, what he could use right there would have been, uh, Sea Trino would have been really good. So he's attacking in with the birds. Puts him up to eight. Now, he did leave the Hangerback Walker open, so he can block the Savage Knuckle Blade no matter how big it is because it doesn't have trample. Unless he has anything better to do. Yeah, I was, I was just about to say. You know, go ahead and attack all out. The air and the rattle claw are going to get through. I highly doubt that he's going to block either one of them. Unless he wants to play a little risky. And then he can block the rattle claw. Buff the hanger back. The rattle claw will die. The hanger back will be a 3-3. Three, three. Or make a 1-1 one, one token with Secure the Wastes. So now we can block two creatures. Chump block the Savage Knuckle Blade and the Air of the Wilds. Or Rattleclaw Mystic and Air of the Wilds. Hmm. And he buffs the Knuckle Blade up to 6-6. Six, six. Takes him down to 2. Ends the turn. And at this stage, he's... Oh, Gideon. The Anthems, 2 4. He theoretically could have just won the game with the Anthem. Two Thopters at 2 power each is 4 damage. The Birds would both be 4, so that would be a total of 12. If the Teamer deck didn't have a response. He would have just ended the match right there. But he attacks in with the two birds and a thopter, takes him back up to five. And 
And another knuckle blade. Hasted. Fuck, both the knuckle blades take three. And he's dead. There's no way around that. Unless he has... Oh, I was going to say, unless he has become immense in his hand. But uh, that was actually pretty close. It looked for quite a while like that teamer deck was just going to wreck him at one point. But he just managed to hold on in every instance. That... Dromoka's command was a very key move in securing the win. So let's go to game two. You know what? I thought better of it. This video has been really long. Sorry if I got your hopes up for this game two, but this video is really long already, so I'm going to end it there. So that was a teamer mid range, I think, versus an Obzon mid range. And if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I'll see you in the next video.